Geologists are storytellers. A lot of people would be surprised to hear that, but it's true. Geologists read the layers of rock like pages in a book and put together a story of something that has happened before. Illinois is a land of contrast, of diverse scenery. Why is much of Illinois rolling plains? Why is southern Illinois a land of cliffs and ravines? What carves the Great Cliffs at Starved Rock Park. Illinois has had an exciting history, an exciting story. And I'm going to tell you the story of Illinois. Now to do that, we have to go back in time. More than half a billion years. I brought my imaginary time machine, left it in the corner over there. You didn't really expect to see an imaginary time machine, did you? Well, okay, we're going to get in that imaginary time machine. We're going to go back in time more than 500 million years. Now, if we're going to do that, we should take some equipment along, some shovels, some bags for collecting, notepads, a camera or two, cooler full of food would be a good idea. But the most important piece of equipment that we could have, that we could take, actually is a boat, because Illinois of 400 million, 500 million, 550 million years ago was under the waters of a warm, a shallow, tropical sea. Most of Illinois, most of the time, was under the ocean, under a tropical ocean. Now, how do I know that? I'm not that old. Geologists know what Illinois is like 400, 500 million years ago because we study the rocks and we get the story from the rocks. What do oceans do? What do oceans leave behind? What do they deposit? What type of sediment do they deposit? Well, if you go down to Miami Beach and take a walk, what are you walking on? You're walking on sand, basically, along the beach. All right, oceans leave behind sand, not just on the beaches, but offshore. Much more sand than you might realize. Oceans deposit thick layers of sand, and sand turns into the rock that we call sandstone. And so in ancient Illinois of more than 500 million years ago, sand washing off areas in the north, washed into the ocean of Illinois and was deposited there. So the ancient oceans of Illinois left behind thick deposits of sand that turned into thick deposits of sandstone. Now, what else do oceans leave behind? Oceans leave behind seashells by the millions by the billions, by the uncountable trillions, seashells. And these seashells pile up over time with a lot of broken material and real fine grain seashell material it's called carbonate. Or another word uh, would be calcium carbonate. Seashells are made of calcium carbonate. And so when this turns into a rock, it forms a rock like this. Now a nickname for calcium carbonate is lime, and so we call that rock limestone. So the ancient oceans of Illinois left behind layer after layer, page after page, layer after layer of sandstone, and then layer after layer, page after page of limestone. This is how the story of Illinois, the storybook of Illinois was written in rock. So now you can understand how geologists read the rocks, how they get the story from the rocks. Looking at this rock, would you say that it was formed in a desert? How about a tropical rainforest? 
or a mountain top. Pretty obviously it wasn't formed in any of those places. This rock is covered with seashells. This rock was made in an ocean. And you can look at this rock and see the seashells and read it and understand that this rock means an ocean. And if you know a little more about these seashells, you know that they are tropical seashells. And so this rock actually is a record of a shallow tropical ocean here in Illinois. Now, as we're moving around Illinois of 400 to 500 million years ago in our little boat, let's say we find a little island and we park the boat there and we get out and take a nature hike. We take our binoculars, we take notepads, we take our cameras, but do we see birds? No. How about squirrels or rabbits? No. Matter of fact, the land is almost barren, almost empty. We find the land to have almost no life on it. Maybe a few crab-like critters around the shoreline or a few green plants, but the land is barren. Where is the life in Illinois then? Four to five hundred million years ago, that life was under the ocean, under the water, in the ocean.